All right, now I could use the rocket launcher script, but that would be cheap. So what I want to do is show you how you could write your own rocket launcher script. In here, I have shoot rigid bodies. So this is a very general term. It's basically just like rigid bodies cause damage. That's a general statement, and anytime I use that, it won't hurt me. It'll just hurt the object. Here, I can have shoot rigid bodies. Okay, I'll double click this. Again, you can make this script by going create script, but here's how it works. We just made uh, an actual object spawn, gun spawn, okay? When gun spawn launches, it's going to be looking for something, and that something is going to have uh, its transform based upon that little transform node there. What it's going to be generating is character bullet, and it's going to have a transform. So that's basically how it works. I have a variable called character bullet. It has a transform, okay? which means I'm probably going to have to mount the thing over there. And sure enough, see, here it is. So what gets mounted over there? Well, the prefab, of course. Okay, that's how that works. And when I go function update, function update ever happens every frame. So it's a built-in thing that you know, it's a very universal thing that I want to use when dealing with guns or dealing with uh, actually jumping around, moving. Function update works rather well. Okay, if input get button down fire one. Fire one is basically mouse left. Okay. And then it's going to generate a variable, bullet. Well, what's bullet? Well, bullet is going to be a rigid body and rigid by is going to add force to it. The add force is very important because add force would generally shove it forward. So if I just went like this, okay, and I hit file save, let's see if this is going to work. Um, GUI deleting metadata assets character role prefab because the asset doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so let's see what that is all about. Prefab bullet does exist. Oh, and I forgot to actually mount the script down here. Duh. Okay. And that is this one down here. It's called shoot rigid bodies. So first I have to click on my character and he's going to shoot rigid bodies now. And the character bullet is what's going to appear. Because I put it in there ahead of time, every time I transfer this over now, it will automatically have that bullet. And if I want to ever change that, I can just click and drag a new thing over there and it'll shoot those instead. Okay, so that's what it does. I basically drop little spheres all over the place, which is not what we want to do. But it is kind of fun. Okay. So that's why you actually have to have the propelling of it forward using the bullet rigid body add force. And I add a force of the transform forward. So in other words, when I'm walking forward, times 2,000. Well, of course, I'm going to add something huge and super powerful because that's what's fun about it. All right, and this is what I get. Now, notice I'm launching them everywhere, even like in the back. So if I'm just standing still... Yeah, I'm shooting them off into Z-axis also. <laughs> Another thing is these other bullets don't have um, add gravity to it, so they're just floating around. I turned that off. Okay, that is located under here. Use gravity. This is the bullet that actually exists over here. 
and it's not a prefab, so it has to be within the scene. So now they should. Yep. Cool. All right, now that my goal here is to actually destroy that thing that's shooting at me. So that's going to be handled in the next video where I show you when a rigid body collides with another rigid body. I want to make it, make it so it doesn't use the apply damage. I want it to use something else. So each, each object within your scene could have the script on it, potentially walls, bricks, or whatever else you want, might want to have. And it will destroy the object or send the object flying. I'll show you both of them. Okay, so that's in the next video.